To shake or bump? That, my friends, is the question. Ah, the handshake. For ages, a person's handshake has represented an offering of peace, a sign of congratulations, and a symbol of mutual agreement. But is handshaking the safest or cleanest way of saying hello? Could there be another method? What about the fist bump? Dr. Tom McClellan knows about the importance of clean hands. He's a surgeon, so he conducted a study that's in the Journal of Hospital Infection and asked the question, is it better to shake or bump? In the hospital environment, we're confronted by handshakes all day, and we know that a handshake is enough to transmit infectious diseases. But what we wanted to learn is whether a fist bump, which has grown from pop culture obscurity to mainstream popularity, was cleaner than a handshake. Were there actual medical benefits to a fist bump rather than a handshake? So, Dr. Tom and his team of researchers set up the following test. They traveled throughout the hospital shaking hands with 20 other healthcare workers. Along the way, they pushed elevator buttons, used door handles, typical stuff. When they were finished, they planted their hands in a petri dish to see how many germs they had collected. Then, they repeated the entire process, but this time, instead of handshakes, they fist bumped. We found that the growth after 72 hours of incubation of bacteria on the handshakers was four times greater than that on fist bumpers. Think about that, four times more. You'll have four times less yuck on your hands if you bump instead of shake. Four times less means your chance of spreading, catching, and becoming a walking germ bag is reduced big time. We think if you're able to reduce the amount of germs on your hands by 400%, now that's significant.